80s, for many years in a row, um, I got into Sunset Beach going out in the water on my, at first I was on a raft, a Hodgin raft, and then I got a custom made BZ bodyboard that was just awesome. We're playing across the water when you're paddling so you get out quicker. And it's, once you get used to Sunset Beach, I mean, you never know, but once you kind of get a feeling for it, it's so much fun because you're, it's, terror and perfection and you're out in this giant field of ocean and you always have to be reading the horizon and looking at what's coming and where is it coming from because you can get caught inside so it's like terrifying <laughs> where you're kind of looking that way and then the wall of what the swell comes from kind of this way and you're and then you notice it at the last minute you just go oh my god you just you just like paddling for your life so with film you had a, a leeway of like I think a quarter stop or half stop maybe especially with quarter chrome it was really narrow so you had to be with your adjustments you had to be right on whereas with digital you have a latitude that's like eight stops wide so you can blow it and still recover it on the back end so there was a lot of precise technical things you had to know about and then you had to open up a little bit when it got a cloud came over this or that or you wouldn't even shoot because you had film you didn't want to shoot when the clouds came over but um, and then knowing the surfers and then knowing what they're going to do and when they're going to do it so all that was layers upon layers of things to actually go out there and do that then when you get out there you're dealing with this raw energy that's it's like uh, it's not quite terrifying, but it's almost because when you're used to the ocean, you go, "Oh, here comes a big one," and and you just you're always scanning the horizon so you know what's coming, and if it's if it surprises you, then you you just put it on full throttle and get out of the way and hope you get out of the way. But sometimes you get completely launched. I used to shoot out there a lot, and um, what I like about this shot is it's man is that it came out really good. It's manual focus. It's a guy doing it. It's Marty Thomas who's now uh, runs the Triple Crown. When you're out there, you're shooting all these things and you don't really know. How, you know you got some good ones, but you don't. The, in your mind's eye, the ones that you thought were going to be really good could be off for some reason. So when you get back those slides and you're looking at them, it was so exciting because you instantly go, oh my god, this one, and you'd forgotten about it. Whereas with digital, you just go dick, 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 you know, and you can see immediately, which is exciting too. It's kind of the same feeling like, all right, that I got it.